My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. Comprehends this. Dig dug dang it. What? Uh, you what? Know, no. When did, what? It, it's small. It's hot. And it's shrinking. What is... A penis that got stuck in a volcano? Close. New NASA-funded research suggests that Mercury is contracting. Stay cool. This is space. There's space all over the place. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. I am the Indiana Jones of astronomy. And here we go. Thor News presents... Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Okay, this article's kind of old. About a month. But it's important. Thought I should cover it. I'm a little backed up. I'm just playing catch up now. The incredible shrinking Mercury is active after all. Shall we read that one? Or... Mercury found to be tectonically active. That means that's when a planet likes to play with itself. Underneath the covers. Alright, that's scary, so... We'll go back to this one. Did you know the incredible shrinking Mercury is active after all? It's small. It's hot. And it's shrinking. What is... A penis that got stuck in a volcano? Close. New NASA-funded research suggests that Mercury is contracting, even today. Joining Earth as a tectonically active planet. Wait, if it's having contractions, maybe it's pregnant. That would be weird to know that the Sun isn't the only pregnant planet or star in our solar system right now. Science, it's so crazy and naughty at the same time. See images obtained by NASA's Me Rookery Surface Space Environment Geo Chemistry Ranging Messenger Spacecraft reveal previously undetected small fault scarps And a scarp is like a shrimp, but different Oh, no, my bad It's cliff-like landform that resembles stair steps So I guess instead of saying watch your step, we should be saying watch your scarp Maybe then people would get confused and they think you were saying watch your scarf And most people these days don't wear scarfs Unless they're very fashionable women And they would say, hey, I'm not wearing a scarf And then they would trip and fall down the stairs And the lawyers would win these scarps are small enough that scientists believe they must be geologically young, which means Mercury was pretty much born yesterday and is still contracting. Earth is not the only tectonically active planet in our solar system, as previously thought. Wait, I thought Mars was tectonically active and Venus was tectonically active and you gotta know there are plates moving on Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter. Now who writes this crap? I don't know if I took my medicine today. You should be warned. Do I have medicine? Of course I do. Everybody's got medicine. The findings are reported in a paper in the October issue of Nature Geoscience. The young age of the small scarps means that Mercury joins Earth as a tectonically active planet. To me, Mercury is the sun's moon, with new faults likely forming today as Mercury's interior continues to cool and the planet contracts. So Mercury's got earthquakes, bro, and it's getting smaller. See, it's weird, like Mercury's getting smaller, but Earth's getting bigger. Um, tell me all about Mercury's core, can you? Large fault scarps on Mercury were first discovered in the flybys of Mariner 10 in the mid-1970s and confirmed by a messenger, which found the planet closest to the sun was shrinking. Uh-oh, shrinkage, which is weird because you're only supposed to get shrinkage in like cold water. You're supposed to get the reverse of shrinkage if you're near something that's really hot and active. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean. Large scarps were formed as Mercury's interior cooled, causing the planet to contract and the crust to break and thrust <sighs> upward along faults, making cliffs up to hundreds of miles long and some more than a mile, which is over one and a half kilometers high. Man, I'm getting so high on this science. It's making my... Uh inner cell feel tingly. In the last 18 months of the messenger mission, the spacecraft's altitude was lowered, which allowed the surface of Mercury to be seen at a much higher resolution. These low altitude images revealed small fault scarps that are orders of magnitude smaller than larger scarps. Okay, so apparently like Mercury has stairs all over it, but don't stare at the stairs. That would be rude. I'm losing subscribers today, I can feel it. The small scarps had to be very young, investigators say, to survive the steady bombardment of meteoroids, comets. They're comparable in scale to small young lunar scarps that are evidence Earth's moon is also shrinking. What? Uh, you know, what? No. When did, what? This active faulting is consistent with the recent finding that Mercury's global magnetic field has existed for billions of years and with the slow cooling of Mercury still 
hot outer core, it's likely that the smallest of the terrestrial planets also experiences mercury quakes, something that may one day be confirmed by mercury size mom and mom mom eaters. Size mom eaters, mom eaters. So in French, that's like seven mom eaters. This is why we explore, said NASA Planetary Science Director Jim Green at headquarters in Washington, D.C. For years, scientists believed that Mercury's tectonic activity was in the distant past. But I'm here to tell you, those scientists were totally effing wrong. And it's exciting to consider that this small planet, not much larger than Earth's moon, is active even today. All right, this exciting article was brought to us by NASA. And I'm sorry if it was weird, creepy, and non-comprehensible. Comprehense this. Dig dug dang it. All right, I'm done. Peace out. God bless you, everybody. What? Uh, you know, what? No. When? What? Over the world.